Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another ColourPop video. We're just gonna call this ColourPop Wednesday because that's when uh, you have usually been making these. I kind of talked to you guys about it last week and I think I am gonna continue to do the ColourPop reviews as long as as it is like a popular collection that people are excited about and I don't feel like I have to do every single launch but this one I am pretty pumped for this is adorable but this is the new cherry crush collection how cute is this little box here so as you can see by the makeup it is all cherry red themed but let's go ahead and get into this collection we have a lot of stuff in here and of course the main star of this collection is the eyeshadow palette gorgeous gorgeous packaging on this one I love the glitter they did around the cherries and with the cherries all over it is just too cute and then here is the inside so we have a big cherry here and then all of the colors they picked for this color scheme there is a lot of asterisks on the back of this so I think a lot of these are more of that pressed pigments that may cause staining I personally haven't seen any pricing on these but I'm assuming it's gonna be the same price as usual and this palette totally reminds me of their monochromatic nine pin palettes that they used to do I feel like that was when I really got into color pop so this really made me happy that they are kind of going for that theme again now I know they have done a red palette I think there is like a watermelon palette and there's also a strawberry palette like a strawberry shake one I don't have either of those because to be honest red is really not my color it's probably the shades I wear like the least in my collection so this is very interesting for me but I still think the whole concept is very cute um, and it's definitely very red and almost berry toned. I'll go ahead and swatch these but yeah I was really kind of happy to see them bringing back that monochromatic nine pans. I was wondering if they could really do anything different with that since they kind of did like all the colors of the rainbow but I do think this one is really cute but it might be similar to the watermelon or the strawberry although I think the strawberry has some more pinks in it. And this one is definitely like red themed for sure. These shades are very pigmented. Um, like I said, ColourPop has really been improving, I feel like, on their pigmentation and overall quality. I have no gripes with the quality of these shadows. They are pretty great. Here is the swatches of the eyeshadow palette. It does have some of those pinky tones in it and some of those are like berry and then there's some like true reds. So you definitely get that monochromatic look. I think for me, I maybe would have liked to see at least like one gold thrown in there or a rose gold. Um, something a little bit lighter for me to tie in those colors so it doesn't look so kind of dark and the red doesn't like take over. That's just my opinion though. We have three eyeliners in the collection. Two of them are their usual cream gel formula that I'm obsessed with. The first one is Jubilee, which is kind of a pinky berry toned red. And then we also have the true red in the collection called Cherry Pie, which looks like this. So I am wearing the Jubilee today. I think I like the Cherry Pie a little bit better. I do like that more true red kind of look. And then there's also this liner in the collection too. It's a liquid liner. I've never tried their liquid ones, but this is in Graceland and it is a white. And this actually would go pretty perfect with all the different cherry looks to kind of bring in a pop of white. I did not try it today. Totally forgot about it, but I also don't wear a lot of liquid liner. So who knows, that could have gone way wrong if I did try this, but eventually I will need to try that. I, I think it's so fun when people do the colorful looks and then have a bright winged white eyeliner. We also have two cheek dews in the collection. So excited about that because I just tried their cheek dew formula out last week. Really love it. And these are some really pretty shades. We have Cherish You, which these definitely don't look as dark on the skin as they look in the tube here. They definitely sheer out, but this one is in and cherish you and the other one is called a sour cherry let me see if I can kind of blend these out a bit so you can see the true color I know that cherish you looks a little bit more pink on me but there's one that's more pink and then one that's a little more red and then we have a couple new lip products which is really cool they have a new formula called the fresh kiss it's a glossy lip stain and um, it definitely kind of goes on like a liquid and does stain the lips but it does leave behind like a little bit of a residue so it's not going to be completely completely matte to give you that gloss but how cute is the packaging on these 
obsessed so we have again a more berry tone called love bite which is what i also have on and i'll be doing a tutorial on this look so that's how they go on but i feel like they are like fully pigmented as you can see from the one i have on now and then the true red this one's called a double cherry which is gorgeous I think I'm really gonna like this like true red color. I should definitely wear this for 4th of July, which is coming up. That'll be the perfect red lip. And then we have some really fun extras in the collection, which I love when they do this. They did it for like the Barbie collection and the Valentine's collection, but they have a cute little mini mirror and it is adorable. So this is the packaging on the hand mirror and this is the mirror. It is cute. It's the same size as I think the Barbie one about. That one was I think a heart. This one's just a circle, but these are perfect for doing your eye makeup because it really gets nice and close. I love these so much. So that is the little hand mirror. These always sell out too. And then we have little clips. Like how cute is this? I tried to wear it. I'm not great with hair things and hair accessories, but I tried. Um, but it's a little cherry clip. There's one for each side. They go different directions. So that is so stinking cute. I love that they included that little extra. I believe you guys can also purchase. So that's a little overview of everything. This really fun, super red cherry collection could also be so fun for 4th of July, like I mentioned. But let me go ahead and get into my tutorial. All right, guys, into the cherry crush eyeshadow palette. Of course, we're going to be doing a red look with all of these colors today. So the first shade I'm going to go into, this one's called Cherry Stem which is this matte shade here in the corner. And I'm gonna put this in the crease. This is a really nice shade, it builds up really well. And it blends out nicely. Next I'm gonna take, take a bite, I'm gonna do a halo eye I think with this one. This is like a darker purple. So I'm gonna put this in the outer and inner corner of the eye. So I kind of just really pack that in the center and then I lightly bring it up and blend with the rest. This is a super vibrant shade. I really like this one. It almost has like a fuchsia kind of color to it, but it's really pretty. I'm going to take that same shade, maybe mix a little bit of the black cherry as well in there and run this on my lower lash line. All right, now that we have this color like all over, I'm gonna take my finger into this shade, which is Sweet Like, and this is gonna go in the center. Just for a pop of shimmer. So that's kind of the look I'm doing. It's pretty simple, really. Let me go ahead and clean this up. Um, I think I'll put lashes on as well, and then we'll do the rest of the products. For eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and use this one in the collection. This one is called Jubilee. There is also a liquid liner, but I don't think I'm going to use that because I totally forgot to put my lashes on. I don't really wear liquid liner anyways. So I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line here. And this one is like a brighter almost that kind of fuchsia tone again, which goes pretty well with the look we have. All right, next we do have two cheek dos. I'm gonna go ahead with this one, Cherish You. I just tried these out for the first time last week with their Lush Life collection, and I really love this formula. I'm gonna dip a little bit onto my hand here, and I'm just gonna blend this with my fingers onto the cheeks. This one is gonna be a brighter one, but it should blend out I would think since they kind of sheer out and they're really easy to kind of smooth on the skin but this is looking kind of like a brighter pink almost instead of like a red since it is more of that sheer product but I have kind of been looking for a bright pink cream blush so this might be perfect but yeah don't be scared of these colors because the cheek dews are super natural looking 
And then we have these new lip products. This is the Fresh Kiss, and it is a glossy lip stain. I think this is totally brand new from ColourPop. So let me decide what color we're gonna do on the lips. So I think we'll go with the more pinky berry theme and use Love Bite. I was hoping these would smell like cherry, but I don't think they do. All right, so these go on like wet to the lips. These remind me so much, if you guys remember, the YSL lip stains in the L'Oreal. They had a very similar formula. This was like back in the day. I don't even know if they still make them, but that is what this reminds me of. It starts to dry down and it's going to leave that kind of almost liquid lipstick feel. It was like liquid lipstick before liquid lipstick was popular. So this is the makeup look for today. I'm not sure if I'm obsessed with it. It's definitely a lot of reds and berries going on. So definitely out of my comfort zone. Let me know your thoughts down below. But let's get into my thoughts on this collection. All right, so for my thoughts trying out this collection, I just think this is so fun and so cute. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I don't know if this is something I would wear all the time, but this is a collection I would definitely be purchasing myself as well, even though they did send this to me. I don't wear a lot of reds, but it's just too cute not to have in your collection. Like I said earlier, I just wish they had like maybe one rose gold in there or like a gold, something to kind of lighten the looks up and just kind of tie it all in because it's pretty dark and they can look very similar on the eyes. So if you don't wear reds or like bright pinks, some people don't like that look on them because I mean red and purple is kind of a color that can make you look almost sickly. But I think it's really fun. I think the look we did is fun. Is it something I want to wear all the time? Probably not. I don't go for reds that often, but I do think it is cute. And if you think it's something you'll use, it'll be fun to add that into your little eyeshadow collection. It's really great quality too. Next, the eyeliners. Personally, I do prefer the red. I don't wear a lot of red liner though. Again, though that kind of a color is something that can make you look kind of sickly. Um, but it does go with the look. I don't really care for the berry one. I think that one's too like hot pink for me. But I do think the True Red is gorgeous. This one is the Cherry Pie, and I'll definitely have to incorporate that. And I do think it is a really good idea they included that white eyeliner. As I mentioned earlier, that'll just really pop on the lids and can go with so many different fun looks. And then um, the Cheek Dews, I think these are so pretty. I really love this pink one. These are so natural on the skin, but I really enjoy the formula. They're just so easy to use and one of my favorite like liquid blushes. Um, but the Cherish You shade was so pretty. It's definitely more of that baby pink kind of look. And don't be scared of the color, like I said, because they go on quite sheer. I still haven't tried the Sour Cherry, but I feel like that one is going to be gorgeous as well. It shouldn't be too dark at all. So I'm glad they went with the serum blush over like the blush sticks, because I feel like the blush sticks or like an actual powder blush might have been too red and like a lot of people wouldn't like wear it because it wouldn't be super wearable. And then these lip um, glossy stains, I think these are such a fun thing to add into the ColourPop line. I hope they make more of them because I do like the formula a lot. They're very comfortable, easy to use. I like that they're, they like stain the lips, but they're not super drying like a liquid lipstick. So I would love to see more of these. Um, I definitely don't love this color though on me. I'm not a huge fan of the bright berry pinks, as I mentioned, but this red, I think I'm gonna use a lot. It's probably gonna be my new go-to red. And for red lips, I always like something that doesn't like slide off the lips super easily. So that'll be nice. And of course, um, the mirror, I talked about that, super cute, the barrette, adorable. I wish I had the prices of everything, but I haven't seen it announced anywhere, but this collection will be available tomorrow. Don't forget, you can use my code 5 Leah to save $5 off your ColourPop purchase. I'm thinking codes should work on this, but actually, I take that back because I saw a sneak peek that they're doing a 30% off sale tomorrow pretty sure I saw that so this whole thing might be 30% off which is pretty awesome I'm wondering the price of this palette though because I know their nine pans used to be like what 10 bucks or something I know they have been kind of upping their prices a little bit but I have noticed their packaging has gotten better as well as their shadow quality so I kind of can justify the price increase um, so we'll see how much that ends up being 
but yeah that's kind of all i have for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful let me know if you plan on picking this one up or not and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys